Okay, welcome everybody. I'm trying kind of a new style of video where I just talk about something while I'm playing Population 1 or some other game in the background. Uh, so let me know if you enjoy this style. I could really use your feedback because I do want to produce content that, you know, you guys enjoy. Um, but today, I thought we'd go over the most traumatic experience I've had in my entire life. So, let's, let's start way back at the beginning. You know, I've been to the emergency room like six times or something in my life, but this has got to take the cake. Those things don't even hold a candle to the, the, mental, the mental state this put me in. But, so, like when I was in fifth through like seventh grade or so, I don't know the exact times, but I had a balloon animal business where I would go around to kids' parties and make balloon animals, you know? Um, so, I, I mean, I didn't make, like, I wasn't making fat stacks or anything, but, you know, I was pretty good for a, for a sixth grader. I might even still have a flyer for this thing that I can show. Um, but then one day my dad suggested going to this outdoor mall and making balloon animals for kids working for tips. I'm like, oh, that seems good. Could probably rake in some money there. You know, uh, so I, I was taking the bus because eventually I wanted to learn to do this on my own, not have my parents drive me every time. So the first day, my, my dad and I would go on the bus. I set up my stuff uh, at this outdoor mall. I was kind of near a play area, a kid's play area, so that way, you know, um, the kids would be like, oh, I want a balloon animal, and I'd give them one, and the parents would feel all guilty, and they'd have to give me money, and it would be a perfect business plan. You know, there's no way this could go wrong. But anyways, I'm there with my dad for like an hour and a half. I make like $35 or something, and I'm hooked. You know, I'm like, man. Uh, pretty soon I'll be living on a yacht in the Caribbean at this rate. So day two, I go with my mom, we go to the bus stop, uh, set up my stuff, and I'm there for like another hour and a half or so. I make some more money, and then day three, oh, sick, I'm already full shield. I'm ready to try, try things on my own. So, my dad drops me off at the bus stop, he's talking to me, he's like, what to do if I feel threatened or think I might get robbed or something. Um, so the whole way to the on the bus ride, I'm thinking about this. I'm like, man, am I just going to get mugged and shot? And this could be my last few hours alive, and I didn't even say goodbye to my cat. So I'm like, I'm kind of panicked. It's not like I live in a crime-ridden area, but you know, the talk just was, was kind of scary. Uh, so I get there, I've, I'm setting up my stuff, you know, I'm kind of leaned over, setting up my basket and my supplies and things. And then when I look up, there's this kind of older, scraggly man, he's got like a graying beard, and it was just kind of a weird, I didn't really know what to do, because, you know, he's not your average balloon animal customer. Um... So I'm just kind of staring at him in silence, and eventually like, Hi, I'm Bongo. And then I'm like, uh, hi. Just kind of with a nervous laugh, you know. Um, I suppose I'll take this thing. Even though I'm really bad with it. So... Yeah, I'm wondering, I'm like, oh, do I make a big scene? Is this man just going to shank me right here in public? Or, oh, people? Oh, my, looks like my teammate got one. I don't, why do I have so many weapons? So, yeah, I'm kind of freaked out. And then, it's like, I've been tying balloons on this mall for 20 years. Like, oh, I've, I, I just started Saturday. It says, I know those people um, pull off a six night. You, oh, you see that? I actually hit that. Wow. Oh. Why am I getting 
shot at from. Oh, they're up there. Okay. I suppose I'll just get into this. So, yeah, I'm freaking out. It's like I've been tying balloons on this small for. Oh, God. This was. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> okay, things aren't looking so good. Okay, this could be it. Oh, it's okay. We'll cut that part out. We'll just make it look like I won somehow. And we're back. Yeah, so he's like, I've been tying balloons on this mall for 20 years. Then I say, oh, I'd start Saturday. <laughs> just kind of a nervous laugh. And then, and then he says, I know, which does nothing to ease, ease my angst about for someone who like works giving balloon animals to kids he didn't seem very good at dealing with kids yeah so then then he's like oh well here's what we're gonna do you leave these two blocks alone and i don't turn you into the authorities right now I've, i again i'm still pretty clueless oh people i'm still pretty clueless about uh what to what to do here Come on, he's almost dead. Is that him? Okay, hold on, let me go kill this fool. See, the issue is, I need the commentary to distract from the fact that I'm not very good at, uh, at the game. And I need the game to distract from the fact that I'm not very good at the commentary. Oh god. Whoa. Sick, I just... I think their teammate should be here somewhere, right? I think. Yeah, so I kind of hustle, pack up all my stuff, hustle down away from Bongo, just trying to get out of there. Whoa, hey, sick. Actually, it might be decent at this game. Um, I set up, but it's kind of in a less traveled area of the mall, so there's not as many people, and um, I don't make very much money. And that was that was it. That was... Basically the end of my business too. I kind of gave up balloon animal making after that And now bongo he just haunts my nightmares and he lives on in my mind But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching again I really could use your feedback on if you like this this style of video or not um, Yeah, please leave a like if you enjoyed a dislike if you didn't and if you want to join the rec gang and subscribe I really do appreciate it, but for now, I will see you guys on the next video